Hi guys, in this tutorial we're gonna show you how to render an exterior scene using Cinema 4D and V-Ray. So this is our scene, our pre-made scene. Uh, just a simple cube with some extrusions here and here and some windows here and we are ready to go. So first thing first is we're gonna put a area light uh, and add a Vira tag, Vira light to it, and go to the area light tab here and change the type of the area light to Doom. Uh, then check on the spherical Doom and use texture. And we're gonna load an HDRI texture. Uh, I use this one uh, from Peter Gotre. Uh, it's available on the internet if you wanna buy it. So just open it and uh, it's increased the subdivision, maybe to about uh, 124. Let's go to common and enable shadows. And we're gonna increase the intensity to maybe three for now. Uh, and let's go to the window setting. I made this setting before. Uh, let's create a new one. To begin with you from scratches. Uh, let's change the render to VRI bridge and check on the GI and select just a this preview here for time's sake. Uh, for the color mapping uh, we're gonna change the type to exponential and that's it. Uh, first uh, go to mood uh, and go to project here you should just uncheck the linear workflow you should un uh, uncheck it because we have, we have it here in the color mapping the linear workflow of the ray we have it here checked so just uncheck the cinema 4D1 So let's do a preview render. Uh, before doing the preview render, let's go to the camera and put a physical camera tag to it. Change the white balance to neutral and maybe decrease the f stop to 6 and increase the film ISO to 200. And do a preview window. So that's it. The lighting is a little bit uh, dull. Uh, just increase it to increase the intensity to maybe four. And that's it. So let's just uh, now make uh, the lighting uh, and the building, the light that comes through the windows. So let's put another area light and add a drag bridge drag light tag and enable the shadows and let's reposition it, rotate it a little bit, 90 degrees and just position it right behind the window just like this oh, here we go so here is our light. Uh, 
let's copy it copy it just in the window here and that's it so we're gonna change the change uh, increase the subdivision to maybe 64 and and check no decay so we can it can give us the inverse square law uh, let's make it smaller disable the camera and smaller to fit the window a little bit bigger okay that's it so let's uh, change the color of the light to maybe yellowish color or just orange okay Change the display to color shading. Disable the lights on the viewport and uh, should make a glass material to the window. Let's create a new uh, ray advanced material. Delete this one. And go to diffuse color. Increase the amount of transparency to maybe 90. And enable the refraction layer uh, for the index of refraction. Just uh, change it to. 1.45 okay and that's it just uh, add another code of specular another layer of specular uh, make it just a little bit closey uh, just decrease it to 0.97 there we go yeah uh, so let's put our okay. I should make a post material and uh, and give it to all those those object here. Otherwise, they will look glossy on in the window. Let's now do a. But before we do preview window, let's just increase it the intensity to 100 maybe. And do a preview window now. Here we go, that's what we've got. Uh, we can increase it a little more to 150 do a whole window. so that's it for the lighting uh, let's make the shaders in the next tutorial thank you for watching